Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at the diversions of a vector or a vector field. Here it is in spherical coordinates. It looks quite complicated. But then when you take a look at each term separately, it's not so bad. Remember that when you take the divergence of a vector, you end up with a scalar quantity. So it's 1 over r squared times the partial derivative with respect to r of r squared times the r component of the vector plus 1 over r sine theta times a partial derivative with respect to theta of sine of theta times the theta component of the vector plus 1 over r sine theta times a partial derivative with respect to phi of the v component of the vector. The phi component of the vector. So what we need to be careful of because again the most important thing is that you know how to well take the diversions of vector in spherical coordinates. You actually know how to use that equation. Now we're going to do a simple example so here we have the vector v equals r squared times the r unit vector. So there's only one component, so we only have to worry about this portion right here when we take the diversions of this simple example. Now the reason why I want to show you simple examples on the next video, we'll show you something interesting. But then what we also want to show is the temptation here when you see that, you look at this and go, oh look, there's an r squared here, there's an r squared here, can we cancel those? And the answer of course is, no, you can't. What you need to do is take the r component of the vector, multiply it times r squared, then take the partial derivative with respect to r, and then you multiply that times 1 over r squared. Whatever the result is of this, you multiply by 1 over r squared. So by no means does this r squared cancel out with this r squared. Again, this sine of theta does not cancel out with this sine of theta, and here, of course, you don't have to worry about that. So anyway, so don't do that first multiply the component times what you have to multiply with. Here's an r squared. There's a sine of theta. There you don't have to multiply with anything. Take the partial derivative and then multiply by what's in the front of that. So let's go ahead and try that with this particular example. So in this case, the divergence of the vector v is equal to 1 over r squared times the partial derivative with respect to r of r squared times v sub r now that's the r component of v, which is simply r squared. Notice that's not the dot product, that's simply a multiplication. So that means that this is equal to 1 over r squared times the partial derivative with respect to r of r to the fourth power. Now we take the partial derivative of this first. This is 1 over r squared times the derivative would be 4r cubed. And then when you multiply this out, so this is equal to r squared goes to r cubed, simply r times, or 4 times r is the divergence of our original vector, like this. So that is how we do that. The same thing would have been done with the second and the third term, if there was a second and third term. We'll show you a more complex example later, but at least you can see how you do this first. Then you take the partial derivative, and then you multiply times 1 over r squared to get the final result. And that is how it's done.